Why, hello everyone, it is I, Kosnip, and I'm back with Dagorampa V3. So last time, we tried to narrow down the suspects, but we end up learning that maybe, uh, maybe we were wrong about the time of death. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get harder. So let us continue. Oh, look at that. Huh. I do hope this sounds better. I am trying to, um... You know, instead of having the sound of the, of the game getting lower every time I toss, I'm seeing if it works better like this. I'm still having issue with the with the sound, but oh well. Oh then let us continue. Hell you I'll find out soon enough. Oh boy. <laughs> so it was a lie. God damn it, Monokuma. No! 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 Wait, Rundaru? God damn it! Here we go again. Another shocking tube. All right, give me a give me a second. All right, and I'm back. My apologies. I decided to stop to check the the sound and uh, yeah, you can barely hear my voice. Oh well. Yeah, as you can already tell, I was trying to figure out the, the, the best way to record the sound. Oh well. Wow! What does that mean? Wait, terrible movie? What movie are we talking about? In another pointless argument, like this one. Well, I want to know what's going on. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. Oh, well, you'll want to talk. Now, let me just see. What did he... What the hell were these guys saying? Well, whatever. But if you don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? Yes, yeah, I assume. We don't need to. Hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Why? Well, aren't you a hypocrite? <laughs> Mark, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. Yes, here we that. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to oh. the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? Hold on, give me a sec. Alright, now that is better. My apologies. My mic was so hot, so I had that I could barely see the screen. So, let us continue. Yeah. Motive video, correct? Does this mean oh, yeah. 
actually didn't check her when I got it, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she huh. hadn't checked her cubs pack. Oh yeah, that's right. She did mention something like that. If he went around asking, oh sorry guys. Might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then who was it? I I think I know what he's going through. I guess he thought since he had the uh, Maki's uh, mother video, Maki had uh, his. Hmm. Yeah, I see the the how he's uh, how he can uh, come to that conclusion. I mean, that is one possibility. Wait, what? Who, who knows who had the who's more video? Um Okay, so who knows who had who's more video? Honestly, I have no idea. Who could possibly know? The only thing I can think of is Kokichi. It's you. That would be Kokichi. Oh. Oh yeah. I was not sure if I. If I was right or not. But yeah, he did grab every single one of those monocabs. Uh, uh, mono videos, whatever. When males get this point, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. <laughs> well, they're not the only ones. I mean, the dirty thoughts. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? Hmm. And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motor video. Oh, I see. He said that he would show me my motor video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. You don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap! If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though uh. we have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects! If that story is true. Yeah, if that story is true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? Yeah, why the hell did you not say anything? Oh, so that is the reason. Kibumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't. I mean, you didn't end up helping at all, but whatever. Yes, in a way. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, I guess. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? Oh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his Moda video? Is that really important? Yeah. Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. 
Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, That's the truth. Did you tell Ryoma? Speak it. You're completely silent. No lies. I don't want to die, right? That was a lie. You don't want to die? Then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. <laughs> it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. Ah, I just hope it's true. Right. He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No. Oh, yeah, did you? I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. I guess. Yeah, I still suspect you. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Yeah, I guess. Then which is it? A lie or not lie? To be or not to be? That is the question. Can't you tell just by looking at her? <laughs> there needs. There needs to be more to that. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. <laughs> Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. I mean, you're not wrong. It's far too convenient for her. This is wait. Difficult to determine. Is it? Are we going to do this again? Like I said before, a liar the, knows their the split own thingy. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during night time. I'm telling the truth. Oh wait, never mind. You were thought it was gonna be the uh, the split thingy, but nope. Okay. Um. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward. If no one can prove that this meeting took place. Then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! I said once, I said it before. I'm not a fan of lying. But I can prove Maki wasn't alone. What? Uh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. Oh yeah, that's right. Um one thing I wanna mention on this part right here. <laughs> I had no choice but to check on the internet, so uh, yeah, I was completely stuck. I have no idea. I'm not fun of lying, so I cannot help it. Lying is the last thing I can that usually comes to mind. We started late. Oh boy, Kaito noticed that. Anyway. 
We were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? Oh. One of them was mocking, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. That was probably around midnight. <laughs> I just love this. Oh, she noticed it. Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means. So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. Yeah, totally. Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. Ooh, I just love what they... They're not check staring at each other. Now, now. Uh. I don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. Hmm. Considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. Nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And which one did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. Oh? Not everyone's very all that noisy. Whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something yeah, so that's, that's that's right. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Mafi is not lying. Then Gota will believe friends. Aw. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? <laughs> it's very easy. Has no reason to lie. Here we go again. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Oh boy, this guy's gonna be fun. Be That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. The Hooray. <laughs> I was surprised if Shuichi was a liar, especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone Isn't anymore. Look who's talking. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. <laughs> All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Hooray! I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? Yeah, that is, that is true. So, everyone is culprit Oh no, oh poor Gonta. So, we're right back where we started. Yeah. Wait, did you win Kokishi? Stay late with the whole, uh, you know, again. bug one? I didn't get to see it. The gym is locked at night time, so it must have been the next morning, right? Yeah. That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. So well, what happened? Yeah, was with him. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? But how did they do it? The gym's not open at nighttime, dick cheese. <laughs> dick cheese? <laughs> that is very strange uh, insult. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No, they definitely be noticed. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing. Snoozing? What? What is that supposed to mean? What a terrible title for a guard. <laughs> Are you 
positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. Yumiko would have seen it! She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball! I don't even play this. <laughs> yes, she's a... magician. The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone! Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments! What? Wait, so now we're gonna go back to the split down, huh? Oh crap, here we go again. I can only imagine. Jeez. You gotta do that whole crazy thing again. Yeah, that was crazy. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, I still got time. Let's do this. This is why I don't like flying. But then again, we have no choice. Ah, uh, here we go with this crazy gimmick. Seriously, this is a bit, uh, you know. Overselling much, I guess? When was the body put in? Next morning. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Um. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. The pool next to gym also off limits at night. Kaito! Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. But should we try Crap. Aki's testimony in the first place? Okay, so it's my uh, Smiggy. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Is it not possible? All right. You simply missed the code. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. Remember, the huh. first that you can't enter the gym at night. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also okay, there you go. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Is it not possible you simply missed the cult? Move the body just before the morning announcement? I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito, rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha okay, there you go. I got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Entering a pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Hey, there you go, here. Testimony too. 
Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Oh boy. Well, this I managed to get quite a bit. Is it possible you simply missed the culprit? You're right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed it. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at Kaito. The rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from- I got you. this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But who next to gym? Oh, come on. Entering the floor of the high school it's not the floor area itself. But it should be top mark the tank, though. It's okay! We have Shuichi's testimony, too! Alright, there you go. Time to press it. Run, go, run, go, run, go, run, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there, square, and there you go. Full counter. Hell yeah. I should have fun with that. It's true that you cannot enter the gym at night time, but a corpse could. <laughs> kind of morbid, but yeah. The window was how the culprit moved the body. That window is higher than the piranha tank. Pretty close by. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open. The whole investigation. That means oh, yeah. it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank. That's what I, I didn't notice that. I know it's about the curtains, but not the window being open. Interesting. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit hmm. were to throw the body from outside the window... The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Well, there is a way to reach the, the window. <laughs> no, yes, wasn't going to. Oh my god. Dead <laughs> yes, Jim Kuma do not chunk dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have nothing to do with being gentleman, but still. Um. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? Yeah, but if the corporate got in the gym. Through the window to pull it off, right? Uh. That's it. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. If yeah, there you go. On the pool side, it would not quite make it. Yeah, it would be very hard. The window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally. Yeah, that that is a big no. Correct. If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side. We wouldn't have found it in the gym. And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have noticed that. Don't have used his hard strength yeah. to throw the ladder or the body or something. That is a very strange. Throw dead bodies or ladders. <laughs> the body could not yes. be thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully. To prevent the glass pane from shifting. Yeah, that's true. Otherwise, we'd have found. If if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. <laughs> Cut there with Kitty. That's enough. No, don't don't be sorry. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Well. <laughs> you guys don't even know that. What a bunch of dimwits! Kaito, okay, what is that supposed to mean? Have the answer then? But of course. Yeah, do you have it? Oh, you do. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. Oh, seriously? 
You're pulling a bucket to grab me? Actually, don't know that yet. What? <laughs> the culprit Sorry. Sorry. moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Seriously? That's you right. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. Oh, look who's talking. You just need to shut up and take their licks. What are we gonna do, <gasps> What is that supposed to mean? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. Calm down. I know. I have to do something, but... We'll figure it out. Come on, Sweetie. No, we got all the answers. I, I mean, all the clues. The body got into the piranha tank. What? What is that Does supposed to mean? Matter? We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. Okay, but we shouldn't if we know how it was done, we could probably figure out who the killer is. Instead, we need to focus on Mary was killed. Oh, I see. Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where well, that is true. We're all thinking about where he was found, but not where he was killed. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? Huh. That's true. I have no idea. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then I have a possibility. There's someone in this room. Yeah, that is true. One of the, the one of these guys the is the blacken. And one of these guys is trying to steer the away from the truth. Putting aside the fact that we just lied. Yeah. Um, what is that supposed to mean? Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. <laughs> Thank you, Maki. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. Yeah, I suppose he that is true. Oh, wait, you don't take it like that. I mean, she's not wrong. But you learn. You learn. First, let's establish the crime scene. Okay, so. Bring it, thank. Nope. He almost was relaxing in his room! Yes, to be this one. But the cause of death was drowning. There's no yeah. room <laughs> that can collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible! <laughs> Listen to the places where water is! <laughs> Who we'll, we'll said that? The only place that this is before. Mm. Even if you use magic, there's no other way! Oh! Wrong. Oh wait, no, 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 hold on. I know what I'm supposed to do. The pool rules. Let me just make sure. Okay, there you go. There's nothing to collect enough water. Oh man. Sorry, honey. That is impossible. The pool could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at night time. No swimming is allowed at night time. So a little yep. person could not have it's not allowed to swim. <laughs> a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. You think you might cry, huh? With you. We can spend the night together crying. What? What 
is this book? What is going on here? Um. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Um, what's going on here? You guys are siblings, right? Anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Well, there's one other place. Okay, let's see. What school shows where Ryoma was killed? Um... This one, this is it. right? There you go. The sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on oh boy. Maybe that was him scratching to get away. What? If Ryoma was running the sink, what made the scratches? What? Let me see, wait. If we almost run in this thing, what made this scratch it? Was it this? I'm trying. Calm down. You made a mistake. Well, I mean, I made a mistake. So let me see. If we almost run the thing, what made the scratch it? Wait, maybe this? This is it. Well, there you go. I mean, I thought it was the nails, but whatever. They were scratched as well, correct? Oh yeah. Sort of look like they've been scraped against something. Hmm. The marks in the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them. Yeah, yes, so that means they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. But yeah, it was different when we got the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty young. Hmm. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. That is, that is not Bokichi. You're not helping. I don't want to hear it. No. When she touched you with the body parts just right. There's a list of it. Bite down and gushes. Stop! Please stop! <laughs> stop but it. Stop you making Teko. He could have used Shikuchi method to get away, unless someone ambushed him. It's possible they knocked hmm. him out before handcuffing him. No, if there's scratches, then there's a possibility. Then now that he's not the well, maybe... I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by. Whoops! <laughs> Don't pay attention to Lulomi. I'm just talking to myself. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. So we all agree what? that Yoma was drowned in the sink in his lab, right? So we, we are just gonna... 
Oh, okay. I mean, whatever. Alright, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. Oh, no. Seriously? You don't say. Wow, you're so smart. Seriously? Amazing. So, Ryoma's lab was the killing, uh, the crime scene, huh? You don't say. Well, genius, can you figure out this one? I doubt it. There. Yeah, with this one is quite obvious. It's the window. We even noticed that. Absolutely. Yep, the window. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You can see the gym straight across. He had a very good view from there. Culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete! Um... ...contradicts some things we discussed earlier. Yeah, sorry, honey. From the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right! I apologize! I must go on a journey to reflect on this! Yes, yes. Go we after we all done with it. Since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. No, actually. We are going through the whole throwing, but what? Yeah. I mean, I can think of one way. Oh boy! <laughs> Crazy taxi! I mean, in this case, it's called psychic taxi, but. Yeah. Well, I wanna thank you for a ride, guys. You wanna go, wanna go on a ride for, with me? I think you wanna. <laughs> Escort! Oh my! Something bad happened? O other cards, you don't say. Okay, so concentrate, that's the right, yada yada. Yeah, it's quite the. Uh, <clears throat> Do the right, I will. What did you just say? Okay. Oh boy, I missed that one. There you go. Good. But it was brought from where? Thinking time. Thinking time. Ouch! I kind of feel sorry for that one. Come on. Now we're in the desert. Oh, I missed that one. Crap, I keep missing. Damn it. There you go. Wait. The party was brought to the gym from where? Thinking time. Okay, let me see. Did 
de Jim Window. Jim Window! Calling it! Alright, there should be a monokuma around here. Still haven't found it. Is that it? No. Everything's really blue. Oh! Sorry. I'm wrong. So, okay, so every time I see those things in the distance, those are cars. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Oh boy. Careful. Okay, here we go again. So, how was it moved from the classroom to the... Yeah, this one. There you go. Unfortunately, I did not find the... the monokuma. I'll get it next, next time. Alright, let's do this. Yuma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. Not exactly. It's worse than like they used repel. Or maybe that little you know. floaty thingy. No, I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Yeah, most likely. And maybe the story thing? They can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Oh! The rope! There! <laughs> the rope. The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Yeah, it is possible. Ooh. There was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only a tour can reveal. What mysterious mystery? <laughs> what is this mystery? That rope was in the wheel of the stage. And that thing that's morning, the rope has been moved backstage for some reason. Interesting. It's a mysterious mystery. Only a toy knows the answer. Well, I gave you the answer. It was the killer. Someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Yep. Very much. The rope is roughly 65 feet. 65 feet. Hold on. What did he say about the pool? Does it have information here about the pool? Let me see. Okay, um, I do not have information about the full size, but I do know something. I'm way over my time limit. I got really distracted. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna stop right here. So, everyone, please like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye bye.